Hello everybody, Jim Hickey here uh, with a quick video, at least I hope it's quick, uh, just demonstrating how you can add a web form, contact form, to a WordPress blog, specifically on the sidebar okay, of all your pages for your WordPress blog. Um, and basically as we're opening up this window, you can see a new blog that's in creation. Uh, this will be a blog that will have some information relative to my wife's love, uh, that of quilting. Uh, she's a quilt fanatic and she's quite good at it, if, if, I, if I might add. Um, and, you know, over time, she does some really good work. We have sold some things at affairs and things like that, so we want to be able to go out and do some internet marketing as well in that regard. Well, this will help support that endeavor. But one of the things we'll want is a contact form, you know, somewhere on the site, but specifically right here at the upper part of the sidebar. You know, it's one of the first things that people will see when they come to the site. So if that's there and prominent, you know, hopefully there'll, there'll be something to induce them into signing up and getting more information, or we can keep in contact with those people. So how do you do this? Well, let's go back to the WordPress uh, dashboard. Come down here, and I'm going to go to my Site Admin button. And we'll flip around to the back, and here we are at the WordPress dashboard. Uh, you'll notice that here on the left-hand side, under all the little tabs to access various aspects of the uh, WordPress system, that there is this tab called Appearance. I already had that open. In the second sub-menu down here is something called Widgets. Okay, and effectively what we want to do here is add something called a text widget to the sidebar, then get the code from Aweber to put the web form, the contact form on there, um, save it and everything should go uh, quite nicely, uh, so we hope. So let's go to the widget window. Okay, here we are at the widget window. And our goal here is to get a text widget again right here where the popular post uh, widget is right now uh, on the sidebar. Okay, and to do that, we'll scroll down till we find the text widget. And there it is. And you'll notice it can be either text or HTML, that code that you get from Aweber. We'll just put the, the cursor over that. It goes to the movement uh, cursor. So we'll hold down the left mouse button, drag it over to the side, and then just start to bring it up. And as we scroll up, eventually we'll make it up to the sidebar area someday. Come on, you can do it. Let's go. There we go. Ah, here we go. So once we get up to the sidebar, we'll work this around until the text box is right on top. When you do that, it opens automatically. I'm just going to quickly Put in the title here, sign up. Oh, if I can only spell, I'm going to hit the caps locks. Sign up for. God. Long day, I guess. For newsletter. There we go. So we're just going to sign up for newsletter. Now we're all ready to enter the code from Aweber. So I'm going to go over to another browser window I have open with my Aweber account already open. And you'll notice here that I have something called Mary Quilt. That's the web form for her. You now we can take a quick pre preview of that. Relatively simple web form if it wants to open. Just says sign up for free block design, place to put the name, email, their information is safe, so forth and so on. So let's get the code. Just click on the link that says get HTML. And uh, this is being relatively slow, but we're getting there. Okay, so once this window comes open, uh, rather than going with JavaScript, so sometimes these themes won't work with JavaScript, I always kind of default to the raw HTML. So when I get that open, I just kind of come down here to the code window, click on my mouse button with the left mouse button. All the code gets selected. So then, excuse me, I want to hit the right mouse button little window opens. I want to copy that. Once I've got it copied, I can just come back over, go to the browser that has WordPress opened. Here's my text widget, all ready to accept the code. Uh, left click in the window for the text widget, right click again, select the paste option, in pops the code, scroll down, hit save. Once the little WordPress uh, busy thing gets done, we're all set, hit the close box, 
we can scroll back up, now go visit our site. And hopefully, ah, there we go. So here we've, we've done it. We've added the uh, web form, the contact form, right where I want it, in the upper right hand side of the sidebar. A little title up there, sign up for newsletter. Uh, the, the block said something else, so we're going to have to tweak that a little bit. But sign up for free block design. Gives them an opportunity to enter their name, their email. We let them know that they're completely safe. Uh, the button doesn't show up as nicely as it did on AWeber. Uh, that might have something to do with the, the theme again, so I'm going to check into that. But at any rate, you see the process it takes to get that form onto a WordPress blog from AWeber. Relatively simple. Hope this helps. That's Jim Hickey. That's all for now. We'll talk to you again soon.